Hey everybody, welcome back to Camp in a Box. Today we're going to make some salt dough snakes that you might find in our area of Indiana. To get started, go ahead and prepare the salt dough mixture according to the instructions on the kit. You can also watch our salt dough making video on our YouTube channel. Once your dough has reached the right consistency, go ahead and turn it out onto a well floured work surface and take the time to flour your hands as well. Go ahead and knead your wad of dough into one cohesive ball. You shouldn't see any wrinkles or weird lumps by the time you're done kneading. To make the next steps a little easier, go ahead and roll your ball of dough into a short log. Then get a cutting utensil like a plastic knife or a butter knife. I happen to just have this large spatula and coat it in flour as well. For this next step, you're going to want to cut your ball of dough in half. I initially cut mine into thirds and my first snake was way too skinny. Any dough that you're not going to use right away, go ahead and set off to the side and cover with something like a dishcloth or a paper towel. Now you're going to want to roll your smaller ball of dough out into a coil. You're going to want to keep that coil about half an inch thick. Once you're happy with the thickness of the coil, go ahead and shape it into a basic shape of a snake. Next, you're going to measure out about a pinky length's worth of dough and fold it back onto the rest of the coil. Go ahead and use water on one of your fingers to make the dough sticky again. Then press the dough onto itself and start sculpting the head of a snake. This first snake, we're going to shape its head into that of a non-venomous snake. Now there's a couple of ways to tell the difference between venomous and non-venomous snakes, and the easiest way to tell is by their head. Non-venomous snakes don't have the venom sacs like venomous snakes do, so their heads look a little bit more like an egg. Go ahead and use a little bit of water on your finger to smooth down any large rough patches or bumps along your snake's body. Once you're happy with how the snake looks, go ahead and set it off to the side to either dry or bake according to the instructions in the kit. Go ahead and repeat that basic process for your second snake with your other half of dough. This time we're going to aim for a more venomous looking snake. Now venomous snakes do have those venom pouches that we mentioned earlier. So you're going to pinch and mold the shape of the head into that of a diamond instead of just a regular egg. So it should be wider at the bottom of the head and the neck should be fairly skinny in comparison to the head. If you need to, pinch off a little bit of dough from the nose of your snake and make two little balls that you can mold onto the sides of the heads to make more pronounced venom pouches. Once you're done sculpting the head, go ahead and transfer your snake onto something either to dry on over several days or onto a baking sheet so you can bake it in the oven according to the kit's instructions. You might need to do a little bit of reshaping after you transfer the snake onto its new surface, so go ahead and take the time to do that now. Now let's take a look at the two snakes side by side. Look at their heads. Can you tell the difference in the shape? Again, there are many different ways to determine if a snake is venomous or non-venomous, but from a safe distance, determining the shape of the head is an easy place to start. Here you can really see that diamond-shaped head on the venomous snake. 
and venomous snakes sometimes have an upturned nose as well. Look at the non-venomous snake in comparison and you'll see that the head is much more oval or egg shaped. If you're curious about learning other differences between venomous and non-venomous snakes, look at the fact sheet that's included in your Camp in the Box kit. That fact sheet also includes painting instructions for if you want to recreate a snake that you might find in your own backyard here in Indiana. Thanks so much for crafting with me today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.